Joe had the most punchable face he has ever seen. <laughs> what? Just do, <laughs> do you agree? Now, guys, we are back on Waffling. Now, this week is a big one. We're feeling a bit summery. We're all liking our drinks that are on the table. And guess why? Right, the boys, Waffling, okay, we have done a deal with Tango Ice Blast. How? How's that happen? Nobody knows. But if you follow me or the Waffling uh, Instagram, you would have seen that I've had one installed yep. into my property. And not only that, we've designed our own Waffling flavor. Wait, we What's have it our, called? We have our own flavor. Are you ready for the name? <laughs> right, they've actually allowed us to call it this. Ready? The Fruity Don. Yes, boys. Introducing the Fruity Don. That is correct. The Waffling Own flavour. Now, we want to get this out to you in shops, yep. in cinemas, everywhere. And the thing that you guys need to do is basically message Tango Ice Blast. Like, absolutely hound them in their DMs, Twitter, Instagram, anywhere you can, saying... Bring the waffling fruity don flavor out. We use love the it. Hashtag the fruity don. Yeah, yeah. Use that as Get well. Get that on Twitter trending. Yeah, because basically, the more that they know that the waffling mafia is strong, a formidable force, the more mm. likely it is that we're going to have our own flavor. Which, by the way, mate, yeah, has, wait, 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 has the taste of sour watermelon and lemonade. Banging. I'm not even joking. At first, I was a bit skeptical. You know, I had... skeptical. <laughs> oh, fucked it already. Well, long story short, I tried this and I'm fussy. It is amazing. Yeah. Like, take it from me, who's a fussy eater. It is honestly amazing. And the thing that it's going to go so well with, obviously, a bit of vodka in this, boys. It's going to be yes. fucking ridiculous. All summer long, I'm going to be chomping on them. So, yeah, <laughs> let them know that the Waffling Mafia are here and let's get this happening. And also, if, if they haven't seen on your Instagram, mm -hmm. I don't think people are fully appreciating what you've just had installed mate, into your house. Mate, you can't <laughs> actually get these. Like, you can't buy you're, one. You're like, one of it's three not, or one of four. It's like me UK? and Robbie Williams are the only other, it's, it's, other it's, person it's not, I know. World. <laughs> it's not some, like, shitty little, like, slice puppy machine. This is, when you go to the cinema, this is what you mate, see. Mate, you had to get installed. Like, dug up his floor, installed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They hold, put a whole plumbing system in. Yeah. But look, quality. Apparently, it's a £7,000 machine. Not bad. Oh, oh, mate, it's quality. And we, ideally, we want to smash it so that we can start working with them like, and actually getting yeah. paid. Because we're doing this mate, on the free, obviously, because fuck it. I Tango Ice Boss machine. Because this is a cool deal. Lads, yeah. The goal is, if we can get our flavour out there, people can buy it and sell it, yeah. that will be insane. Unreal. So hashtag the fruity done. Yes, there you go. Boys. Now the next point, I've had an email sent in, right? And we've got many emails from you guys this week that I've found that I want to talk about. But the big, uh, the first one is my girlfriend's dad wants to punch Joe in the face. He's not the only one, right? Uh, well, <laughs> sounds a bit angry, this guy. No, listen to this. But I feel like what have you done? Personally? Well, I want to hear what you lot think. So we were watching the latest episode, and my girlfriend's dad walked in and was and was watching the episode and said. Joe had the most punchable face he has ever seen. <laughs> what? Just do, <laughs> do you agree? Huh? Do you agree? In fairness, I have long said to you, because you know... You know it's right got, if you're jealous, mate. You, you know <laughs> you're <laughs> right. <laughs> That's exactly what we're talking about. Don't be sour, but it's true. Like, I mean, wait, I know I have a punchable face, but why do you reckon it is? Because well, I, I could steal his wife. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what it is? No, but do you reckon you could? Obviously. <laughs> You've had a punchable face from like... Young. No, I know, I know. But it's like, I play up to it. Like, obviously I couldn't steal his wife. What, in your head? <laughs> in your head, you literally could. Obviously. You, you've got these pictures scattered around your house of you, of you smiling. And they are... Well, so when I... They're infuriating. <laughs> no, no, some of your photos of like... Get your, close to your mic. Some of your photos with like... Your little, closer to you. Some okay. of your photos of your little dog. They do my nothing. What, okay, so let's get some like photos Ernie, up right now. Ernie Tom has a punchable yeah, face. Well, that dog's a, dog. a tosser. You've okay. raised a tosser dog. Okay, Tom, get some photos up now, right, of me and my dog. Do we both look punchable? Comment right now if you want to punch them in the face. Oh, <laughs> positive message. No, but just say yes. Don't be like, I want to punch him in the face. Yeah, but I will say, like, this the, the tagline now, you know, when attached to people's emails, if they are uh, reporting from a business or something, it says their credentials at the bottom. This is like, oh, St. John's Catholic School. Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. And, but he's just telling me how much I have a punchable face. Like, it's oh, just, Catholic School. Yeah, it's just, just like, meant to, be, yeah, meant to be quite, like, you know. 
Anyway, so I, I completely disagree, but I thought I'd throw it out there. Do I have a punchable face, guys? Hang on a sec. Wait, were you just making the you, argument? That, but like, you just done a classic you. You've just what? gone back on yourself. You first agreed that you have a punchable face, then you said, no, nah, I disagree. No, it's because I know it's true. <laughs> yeah. But I know at the same time, I also don't give a toss. Now, this one is about Theo. And this is fucking mental, oh, right? Not the neck, not the neck. So, <laughs> gay and into Theo, whilst I have a girlfriend. What? We've had a Waffly Mafia member that is currently in a relationship, but he's realised who he really is. Wait, when did you find this? Well, this was sent in on the 19th of April, so this is very recently, mate. Time. It's since your hair's been growing out, and you've got, you've got beefier as well, a bit more <coughs> muscular. Right, so this guy goes, hi, first of all, love the podcast, and Theo. <laughs> I've got way down, I, I've got a situation, I'm currently in a relationship, and I've realised I'm gay. I haven't told her. The only reason I got with her was because in college, I didn't want people to think I was gay nice peak. and was nice just peak. trying to fit in. Theo, I have a massive crush on you, been looking fit recently, and I love your hair. You've, you've made a guy really get to that point where he's like, I'm ready to come out. You're appealing to them. <laughs> that actually, that's flattering. Yeah, surely. it's flattering, yeah. It's also uncomfortable. Why, Why is it uncomfortable, buddy? But knowing people that... People wank over you, mate. <laughs> That's uncomfortable. But they do. <laughs> no, they don't. No, they don't. They don't. Have you ever wanked over <laughs> no, Theo? No, no, no. <laughs> Let's <laughs> know no, now, stop, please boys. Stop. Actually, can I quickly say, can you leave a like rating quick on the YouTube video if you're on it? Because, like, the like rating's been going down. <laughs> oh, it's not because it's shit, is it? <laughs> but it's just that people forget. Just quickly do it now. Anyways, carry on, buddy. Well, I wasn't saying anything. I was just saying, like, it's, okay, well, it's peak that he's obviously with a girl and he's gay. That's a bit sad. Yeah, like, what's this, what's this guy got to do? Is that I think at this point, it, mate, bruv, you're going to be so toxic to yourself, you're probably exhausting yourself, you need to be the real you. You need to say how you feel to your girl and just be proud. Be free to, to do, do what you want to oh. do. You don't want to be like Philip Schofield. You can't Schofield. live no, Philip, You don't want to be Philip, Philip Schofield. Schofield was, like, what? Like, he, was, he, was, he was in the closet for... 40 years, and that yeah. must have been horrible for him. Like, that, he, he actually raised a family. Yeah. And then... It took him 40 years to come out. It's like, that's Pete. You don't want to be Schofield. You want to, you know, you once you're out and you're open to it, I'm sure. It must be hard though. Like, what, get on the other side. What would you do if you were, like, I don't know, for whatever reason? I know it doesn't just happen overnight, but let's mm -hmm. just say in this situation, you're, you're like going through the week and you're like, shit, maybe like, I'm actually like attracted to men and I'm not really into women. Yeah. You've been in a long term relationship, but not it, only that, you've got to tell. YouTube, which, okay, there's maybe a, an added pressure, but less the normal ones. You've got to but tell your friends, your family, your girlfriend. It's You've got to accept it yourself as well. well. That would be the toughest thing, wouldn't it, for this kid? It's like, if he's in a relationship and whatnot, he's probably like, am I gay? Like, trying to convince himself that he is or well, he a lot, isn't. A lot of people are, like, they may have... I, well, I've, I've heard as well, in fact, sorry, that people can watch so much, like, porn in, like, of, like, one kind... That they start going on to like gay porn. What do you mean? <laughs> no, I have heard this. No, mate, mate, it's in because they, they need something else to stimulate them to get them off. Oh, what? So it's so like, it's oh, all like, this is so normal. So it's like, this boys. <laughs> 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 no, but imagine, like, I've, I've heard, heard this. <laughs> no, you think it's me? No, boys, it's not me. No, no one said it was. No, boys, I don't do it all the time. Why are you getting so flustered no, then? Boys, I <laughs> but you have, no, you, obviously, not. you tried it, so how was it? No. No, boys, I haven't. No, I wasn't. Just no, randomly brought it No, because I'm really making myself seem like I'm a massive pun. <laughs> yeah, of course. No, but, but anyways, on a, yeah. Yeah, no, on a really serious level. <laughs> you want to move on to the next question now? Uh, no, wait. Finish on this guy. Like, do it. Just come out. Like, it'd be better. Like, we're an open society. Yeah, like, it's, it's, we're not living in the 1950s like, exactly. anymore. People yeah. are accepting for what we think. The anyway. mafia will back you. Yeah, the mafia yeah. will. Look at our colours. Now... Something that we obviously hear often is that time that you were in the showers with Poet, right? So let's get Poet, Poet up on screen now. So this is Poet, right? So Theo, whenever he is in a shower with boys, he'll bring up this story of the time that, he's, oh, that he saw true. Poet naked and was like, I couldn't believe how big his knob was. I go, you the have said you, that. You know, the way you worded it, it was like, every time I'm in a shower with boys, I bring it up. Well, yes, you do. <laughs> I'm never in a shower with boys, and I'll be like, oh, yeah, when I saw Poets Cock, it's it, usually on a podcast. Right. <laughs> well, yeah, but um, it, it sort of related to this question. And I know you've actually, you, you were in this position of this struggling individual. Okay, so listen to me. <laughs> Ready, boys? 
At my school, it is required to have a shower after PE. <laughs> um, I have swimming next term, but the issue is my knob is just tiny when <laughs> not erect. There are no stalls or any form of privacy as the showers are communal. Since I go to an old school building, the change of rooms uh, haven't been updated in years. I'm shit scared of what people will say, and I can't imagine anything worse than being rinsed for having a tiny cock. Wondering if you could relate or have any advice. P.S. Everyone says Luke is fit. Thanks. Cheers. There you go. Whoa. So, so as you no, were, relate, mate. you've had many communal showers. Like quite I think, a lot. I think you've also showered with boys in like just a normal shower, haven't you? Yeah, that time with Stanard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, but still, like you have. I know you've you've actively gone, Joe, mate. I'm <laughs> uncomfortable with like how my cock may come across, and I'm scared I may get pissed at the taken out of me. <laughs> 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 that's you, like okay. That is entirely <laughs> me. But at school, Please me. But no, on a level at school, obviously I'm a grower. Uh, it's the same as you. You a grower? Right? Yeah, but not around a load of boys in a shower. <laughs> no, but I'm <laughs> no, I know. yeah, I'm all right. So I just get a rod on when I'm in the shower with boys. No, a grower is when you have a small cock, soft, and then like it grows bigger. Yeah. <laughs> uh, obviously at school, obviously, 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 guys. I Did you through. have to shower with boys in school? Yeah, because we went to the same school, and I never had to. College school. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, buddy. You're Wait. sloping off to the showers with boys. <laughs> Wait, you played for? Oh, you both didn't play football at college. Well, we so you said, Sorry, you mate. Said you, school. you said school, buddy, and now you're just <laughs> yeah, university. Huh? <laughs> no, I was referring to college, but it's the same thing. School, college. No, it's well, not. Anyway. Well, okay. Either way, it's not referring to changing rooms yep. when you're getting changed at PE or or swimming. You have to take the pants off. <laughs> 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 I, I, I can't lie, boys. I would not hop in a communal shower. I think I yeah, said but that. Yes, because you're wait, uncomfortable. Wait, what is that? You're uncomfortable with like your Di sexuality and stuff, aren't you? No, that's absolutely not it. But I literally <laughs> like I, I wouldn't. <laughs> no, I wouldn't, guys, <laughs> I wouldn't strip off in a communal shower like be it with. Whoever. Yeah, but mate, at the end of the day, if you're on a football team and a, and a rugby team and you're just in the shower, like no one gives a shit. It's just fucking shower and it's a cock. Like no one's staring at each other's cocks in the showers. Yeah, man. but imagine if you've got a really small one, or you feel yeah, like no, you do. School, like in my head, I've got a tiny knob, but I know I don't because no. I'm quality at sex. Yeah, yeah, no, you don't have a small, tiny knob. <laughs> but um, <laughs> at school, I was a bit like insecure of like my tiny knob, mm -hmm. especially after swimming. When you have, like, you got no option, or you do the towel round it, but you're scared the towel's gonna slip by accident. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but you sort of like grow up and like you realise like. No one actually cares. Yeah, I think like no one actually. Yeah, cares. I think when you're self-conscious about something, it's easy to feel like the whole room is looking. Like when people start yeah. a gym for the first time, they may be worried that everyone's going to be like, "Ha ha, you're shit." Yeah, but no you one. You don't know what you're cares. doing. Yeah, no one gives a toss. End of the day, the the most the way to combat this, I'd say, is to look almost go in there with big dick energy. Yeah, and go look. I don't. I've, yeah, I may not have the biggest knob. I don't know if I do, but <laughs> if I carry myself like I do, then that's the thing that's going to really resonate. One hundred percent. Not, not. Uh, if, well, if you sit there cowering, it's going to be like, oh, you're hiding something, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> no, no, yeah, but don't be scared. Is, so, <laughs> school is brutal, well, like, and, say, and we yeah. don't know what this guy's. No, no but it's like if it is a micro cock, then <laughs> he's going to get ripped. At and the end of the day, like if you're at college and stuff, and you grow up, no one cares, and you can say that about school, but realistically, at school, like your mates, if you've got a tiny dick. You're uh, you're getting ridiculed. Mm. You are. It's just school, and that's yeah. the way it is. But that's part of your up upbringing, and it developed you into a stronger character. Oh, so really take bullying. <laughs> really take it as you as you grow up. Now, guys, let me know one thing. Who do you think today's sponsor is? That's right. It's Stitch Fix, the people that provide you with a whole care package of fashion. And I can actually reveal my latest Stitch Fix order. I've got it next to me. Um, have a look at the sort of garms that you get. So I've got a nice. Fruity shirt because I said, Oh, I like fruity clothing, That's colorful. That's me. Okay, that, yeah, oh, that not a shirt. I mean, it's a that hoodie, is nice. That is but nice. it would like suit that. you. It's the sort of thing that all you guys are always like, Oh, where do you get this hoodie from? From, from, <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is Stitch Fix. They also sent from All Saints this nice yeah. little. Look, hey, that's that, a bit of me. All Saints that is as well. That class is brand, class brand. Do you know what I mean? And then another one, Muscle Fit. I like a bit of muscle fit. Again, this is all uh, all Saints, I believe. Maybe it's good because it's still. personalizing it to you, isn't it? Exactly. And the bottom line here is, is all you have to do is enter in a questionnaire the sort of things that you like, what you're into, you know, colorful, not colorful. Um, and they will design a whole entire order to send you 
and you get it, send back what you don't want and they'll refund that. So it's like a quality setup and I've now got two orders of it and I'm happy with 95% of it. The only thing I didn't like in my order were these because they were, they were a bit like not... And that's fine, you can send it back. Yeah, do you know what I mean? I can send it back. But, but yeah, it was more of like, I like skinny fit trousers, not, you know, baggy and they were a bit baggy. But yeah, and obviously with this, we've got you a little deal. If you go to stitchfix.co.uk slash waffling, you'll get 20% off your whole order if you keep everything which is like ideal. Nice. So yeah, that link is down below. It's stitchfix.co.uk slash waffling for 20% off. Ideal. Back on with the show. Now, something I do want to quickly bring up, right? Those of you that are on uh, audio, one second, but I just need to defend, to, like, defend myself a sec because it's actually pissing me off. It's about the fat. Week in, fucking week out, right? This shit wide angle. <laughs> right, quickly cut to it now, Tom. You wanted it. You made us spend hundreds of pounds yeah, on this Yeah, like, I've, I've spent on this new setup, right? And it makes, like, me and nerd neck here... My, mate, someone said, like Beetlejuice in some, the background. Oh my little boy. Someone said I my head is offside <laughs> during the podcast. Looks as far forward. <laughs> <laughs> but that's like it's obviously. I'm a tiny nerd neck, yes, but that really ex- exaggerates it, and it's really off putting yes. to look at. So, so I've never actually watched. A, yeah. Wait, so but can for, we? Uh, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Let's one at a time. Wait. So I basically get. I look like I'm overweight, but yeah, really, like. <laughs> but really I'm uh, in in mint mint condition, mint. and then Theo looks like he has this sort of bulbous pigeon neck, <laughs> and oh, it's just so, totally inaccurate. So I like if I sat where Luke did, I'd look tiny. They'd be like, "Oh, well, mate, you ain't been you ain't been going gym." Instead, cut to this angle. Look at the biceps. <laughs> oh, I'm just making a fool of last, myself last now. Last week we did also we got a comment about I hate it. The, the 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 sort of the clothes you're wearing as well. And oh, like, you look ginormous. Well, I look really fat in the oh, last. I'm talking about that. I was saying that oh. people people said he looked like he just rolled out of bed. I didn't say anything about fat. No, but the screenshot you showed earlier. Oh, you know, fuck right? yourselves. Well, yeah, yeah. Just whip this one up from last week. All right, Tom, whip it up. <laughs> I, I look terrible. I look terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrendous. That's fucking awful. I don't fucking look like that, bruv. <laughs> bruv, I don't look like that. Do I look like that? No, no. Oh, no. Every week I say to you, I, I, Wait, I, you see that? You is yeah, that? Yeah, bruv, bruv. Do I? Do I? No. <laughs> bruv, bruv, do, do, do I, I, do Joe, I look on like a level, that? Every week. I'm Are you like, sitting next to me right hey. now going, he's got that belly? Every week I come no, in no, and no, say, no, do, I, do I? Do I? Do I? Let me know now. No, no, no. no you don't. <coughs> every every week you look more triangle. Yeah. You look a bit leaner than the week yeah, before. Yeah, you're improving. You're improving. Oh, just oh. obviously the base you started at is lower than normal, but you're getting there. Yeah, I just you know that in Venice that, that it is a terrible. Mate, I'd rather yeah, that, look uh, like that than have a right angle drawn over me <laughs> with your neck. Yeah, yeah fair enough. What would you swap? Would you? Nah, would, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? What about my football? Well, your footballing ability. Well, I'd say that uh, I'm pretty much up there. Now, something else that obviously went viral on, viral on Twitter this week. Um, and this is something that often happens to you. <laughs> now, your voice cracks. Oh, it's so bad. It happens way too often. A- Aspens? <laughs> oh, no, sorry. But no, I just, wanna, <laughs> I just wanna quickly ask, do you, cause obviously people have stammers, right? It's an, a- no, I'm being actually serious. Here. Stutter. Do you think, that something brings on when you I, trip over school, words. At school, I don't think you guys knew about this. Yeah, that's because no found, one knew you. Right. I found myself like stuttering on like W's. Like, I couldn't like. I actually had like a wah wah problem. Like wah 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 Really? Legit, yeah. Wait, because you like. Think, I have another friend that, that has that, and when he's nervous, it kicks in, and then he gets rent free in his own head. But this is the thing. When I'm nervous and under pressure, usually I thrive when it's like sporting or something, like presenting. Yeah. I usually do wonders. Yeah. But in different scenarios, I'll just turn into like a squeaky, nervous wreck. Girls. Around girls. Or like if, if we put you under pressure about something like, come on, Theo, tell us about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's almost like it, it kicks off. But anyway, so let's quickly play this clip, guys. <laughs> Sorry, I've got a mouthful of uh, ice blast. You're done. Oh, it's such a fruity done. Um... Anyways, right, yeah, let me quickly get this up. So this is this went viral on Twitter. Is it 250,000 views, you said? <laughs> right, so let's quickly... Oh, sorry. Tom, play it now for everyone to hear. So wait, you don't mind that then? That's not the bad. 
<laughs> That's not that bad. <laughs> Do anyone else, you know, of I'm our 25, get this? mate, I'm 25. What, and it's, you get it like you're breaking in, like your voice is like breaking in. Like my voice is breaking. This happens to people at school. Do you remember? It would always happen. Wait, there was one particular worst. kid that it would happen to. I won't say his name, but you probably know. No. Wait, what? SQ? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it would yeah. always happen to him. But it would always happen to someone when they had to like read out in oh. class or something. Oh, or yeah, like totally stand up in front, at the front. of someone. But it's that thing again that look, just look, in school, it's the time to, you have to get accustomed to banter. I think that's when you get hardened because you can't escape it. Do you reckon it's still like that though? Hundred yeah. percent. I reckon it's even reckon? worse. I reckon it's even worse. I reckon schools now are even more savage. But everyone's talking about how everyone's like grown up like a pansy and like everyone's like cancel culture and whatnot. And do you reckon schools are still just brutal? Oh like no, even more. Even, like I reckon even more. It's it's gone backwards. Whereas really? our, I reckon our year would probably even nicer. Well, but, God. Wait, but you know, like school obviously accustoms you for these. Accustom what? Accustoms you for this. Sort oh of, like, yeah, yeah. Getting, for this, Getting embarrassed. Yeah, it hardens you. I it remember hardens you. Where we, oh, does it not? No, it did, yeah. No, but I was going to say, we, I asked some questions. It was literally like last year on, on the Waffling Instagram story, and people wanted to know the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you. Yeah. Do you, like, do you remember the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened God, to I, you? I, I hate this. I hate this. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, when you have to think of a memory. No, but like, I can fully remember mine. Okay, yeah, what's it. yours, buddy? Mine was, it was literally a couple of years ago when I was in Sports Direct with Reese. And we were walking along the downstairs, and obviously, like any idiot would do, I picked up a football and went like lobbed at his head, <laughs> and he ducked, and it smacked a baby in a pushchair in the face. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Awful. I thought you were gonna say like it knocked off a pin of clothes. I was getting ready to do it, like, <laughs> but that's <laughs> actually a ball at a baby. <laughs> Worst Evil. moment of my life. What he gave it, fucking like. I didn't damage. I didn't see it there. It was Reese's fault. He oh, ducked. You didn't kill a dog, though, did you? You killed a that dog. That must have been the most embarrassing time you've looked. It wasn't embarrassing because I was completely. Theo, you've right. killed a dog. No, I haven't. Oh, no, I haven't killed <laughs> a dog. <laughs> tell the story. No, because it wasn't my fault. No, but please tell it. Tell it. Right, me and Luke on the way back from a haircut. <laughs> you know when you come out the road and you go towards the traffic lights to the main road near M and S, mm -hmm. and you pull out. It's like the bit before you pull out onto a normal road, and I'm like, look left, look, look left, look right. And I, I just go, and this old lady just walks out in front of me with her two tiny little dogs. <laughs> tiny tiny little dogs. <laughs> My big wheel. Just like. <laughs> 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 Sorry, were you close? I was like, I was like, I didn't hit that dog, did I? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, we didn't just go over a rock, mate. I was like, oh shit. So obviously we we stop, and this dog's just like. <laughs> Like <laughs> ran over its arm or something. Like I think it definitely <laughs> snapped it in half. And uh, you were like, "Do you want me to take?" I was, I was, I was being so nice because she was so in the wrong. Like she was so in the wrong. Should not have crossed. The dog should not have crossed. I had right of way. The big jeep. The little dog got clarted. And I was like, "Let me take you to the vet." She's like, "No, no." She's I said, like, "She was like, no, no, he'll be all right." <laughs> Just like that. No, she said, "Yeah, it's okay. crumpled over she on the scared. floor." She was <laughs> Of me, <laughs> we are scary, oh, man. You can just mow a dog down. <laughs> to be fair. Fucking my big, big jeep, just like hey, take me to the vet. <laughs> Theo driving home in silence the whole. <laughs> I was like, mate, I don't think that dog's gonna make it. Oh yeah, well, let me take you to the vets then. Why are you scared of me? Well, talking about being scared within relationships with women. What? <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Trying to segue this, boys on a level. Do you think it's possible to get out of the friend zone? Yes, and I did it. Did you? Yeah. No, you fucking Janine didn't. Janine said at first I was in the friend zone. What, so you were just like, ha ha, hi buddy, and then now she's like, I want to shag your fuck off. <laughs> Once obviously she got past the bit <laughs> where I was like. Because mate, we get so many people asking, like how do I, one, like, oh, I'm a virgin. I, I want to get in there with someone, but I, always get friend zone or I want a relationship. I always get friend zone. So here we have an example of someone that managed to escape it, Malfoy. It's sort of one of them things where you could actually argue that being in the friend zone first is actually arguably a better thing because you know you're actually compatible as partners and life partners. <clears throat> this depends what you're, you're looking for. Obviously. Well, yeah, if you're looking for obviously a shag. I've never. <laughs> no, no, go, go. If you're no. looking for a shag, obviously being in the friend zone, sort of like, what's the point? Why are you pursuing it? Just get out. But if you think I could actually be with them long term, then you just gotta. 
I'd argue for for a relationship, you know, the friend zone is a good thing. Yeah. Because I think you get to really like, you should learn whether you like that person. I think also if you really want, it sounds a bit weird, but if you want to get out of the friend zone, like have a few drinks, see what see what happens when people loosen up. Oh, that's true. That's that what, so. Do you reckon part of the friend zone could be that you actually, where you're a bit nervous, yes. you almost put yourself there. You don't bring the energy of that confidence. Like, so maybe so, yeah. so. you're saying something like having a few bevs with that person. That's why often people are not people on a night out skip the whole getting to know each other part and just start getting off on a dance floor. Wait, we saw it out in Miami, didn't we? Like two colleagues, you know, just f- f- two colleagues, two like friends, buddies, and then on a night out having a few drinks. Who? Like, oh. Who? Well, I'm Wait, not going to say their name. No, names. no, but where, what, YouTubers? It was LA, wasn't it? Oh, was it LA? Yes, it was LA. No, no. no we're talking you, about like, the Ring Girls. What? Okay, bleep this. Bleep this, Tom. Bleep this. <laughs> you know, and what's her face? She's what? Oh, what? What's <laughs> Yeah. Bleep that as well. Bleep that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and yeah, who? Were, and who? Uh, oh, what's her name? Okay, I don't know who that is, but I'll probably do it anyway. not have been on the night I out. feel you, but like, he had confidence because he had just been in Bali traveling yeah, and yeah. he found himself. Exactly. This is why people go traveling because it gets you in those experiences where you have to bring confidence to, uh, to situations. And yeah, that is what it is. I'd say for me, the, uh, you know, <laughs> exuding that sort of like sexual energy. I, knew you, I literally knew you were going to say that. Like, I can't, it's impossible for me being a friend. <laughs> so I've got too much sex to give out. I used to never, ever have that, ever at all, because I was so scared. So you can chat <laughs> shit about me. I'm literally going to, I come out and try to be honest week in, week out. All I do is get, <laughs> is get bullied by you utter horrible assholes. You inconsiderate. <laughs> but listen. <laughs> Does that mean your girlfriend? No, listen. I literally used to have nothing. I would be so scared. I'd go with Oakle Fish out on nights out. Get up a picture of Oakle Fish. He was a fun. He could pull. He could pull he for could pull. fun. Anymore, but listen, though. but listen. So me and him would go out and he'd be like, mate. Why aren't you? <laughs> Weirdo you virgin. Why aren't you trying to talk to girls or anything? Are you, I, I reckon he thought I was a bit, you know, fruity, gay, and I. Uh, it's because I just struggled, man. I didn't. I didn't, man. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I didn't have any confidence because, as well, that my lack of confidence also stemmed from the fact of I thought. Oh, I'd get them in the position of oh, I've got them home, and then I wouldn't be able to get a, get an erection because I'd oh. have I'd have erectile dysfunction because I'm so nervous. Wait, so how old are you when this was happening? Eighteen. So you were a virgin, or you weren't? No, 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 because I lost it when I was seventeen. But it also happened <laughs> that I um I had seventeen. No, I had situations where I would have erectile dysfunction <laughs> due to performance anxiety. That's so I did lose it, but it was only not until probably about 21 that I had actual a decent shag, mate. <laughs> because I'd just get so scared every time. Can you imagine? Go and laugh at me a bit more, <laughs> mate. No, it's just funny how, like, on camera, like, you, you protruded? No, it, I portray my okay. confidence now because I've been the other guy. I've been that unconfident yeah, one. Yeah, I know. And now that I'm here representing myself <laughs> and you cunts shoot me down. But what I'm saying is that uh, at the time, you were portraying this like, look at me, I'm a legend, I'm a hardcore shagger. No, I wasn't, not back then. At 21, yeah, you were like the cocky like... Oh, you may have <coughs> thought that, but I... No, but no, that's what you were portraying online. But secretly you were I just was. like... I was confident online, but I wasn't well, sexual energy. But here's what... And this might, be a, chat? this might be a touch off topic, but I don't think it is, right? Everyone is always pushing people to be more open, be more confident, you know, go and be yourself, you know, like who you are. And then you get someone who's confident and everyone's like... Cocky prick. Yeah, it, mate, <laughs> that, you've nailed it. You've nailed it. So that's, what, that's especially about this country because in America, it's like everyone builds each other up. Like if someone's doing sick, it's like, wow, you are amazing. Here, if someone's yeah. doing good or backs themselves, oh, let's hit them down. Let's shoot them down. So that's why, yeah, everyone can say what they want. But at the end of the day, mate, I'm here to stay. And this is what I do. I have a loving girlfriend and I love her <laughs> through and through. <laughs> mm. No one mentioned your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> you are actually Simon. And she you met want? your parents? Oh, what mate, yeah, she did. She came around for a barbecue. Mate, it's quite... <laughs> no, no, but, but how do you think... That is really cute. That's quite cool. How'd it go? Really well, like, it's in... Slotted straight in, like, mate, I'm not going to lie. The most common theme... This is awful. The most common theme of the evening was, like, toilet accidents. Oh, God. Mate, my mum... My mum has been on a dog, dog walk in the rain and she need, want- needed a piss and just... 
instead of even just going off to a bush, <laughs> no, no, midway no. through walking in no. the forest in the rain, no. just started pissing herself. What? And then instead of just going directly home, she then went to Tesco. And walked around the shops in covered in piss. <laughs> like a tramp. Awful. I don't know if I could say that. You just bleep who you said. But she was just talking, talking <laughs> about these sort of stories. And then Phil. No, no, no. But anyways, yeah, there was all sorts of stories. I respect it from the person you said that we won't name. I mean, I probably should well, well, I, I, res- I actually respect that. What? How res- can you respect <laughs> that? I respect it from the balls that she had on her to do that because... Just, I would have just gone on a bush or something. Yeah, but we can, so we've got knobber, knobs. Knobbers. <laughs> knobbers, mate. We've got knobbers, mate. But yeah, but I th- I just think, yeah, it's fucked. But it was good because my family just acted as they were. They were comfortable, like, based on her energy to just be themselves. And, and she, then so was she. And then it was all just... Did like, share any stories like that? Uh, not necessarily that. I mean, we were talking about different uni things, whatever, that, you know, uh, what she's been up to. But overall... Good, successful, right. enjoyed it. That's really Here's good. The I'm, thing, proud, I'm happy for you. We're going to have a lot of like 18 year olds probably watching this show who are yep. either someone's first girlfriend, first boyfriend, going to meet someone's parents. Oh. Yes. How did you find that when you were younger, meeting, Quality, mate. meeting a this family? Is, and this is where I'm like, mate, I'm an old soul. All right, here we go. Ready for some more banter? Come on, give it to me now. No, no, go ahead. But like, I reckon I've lived multiple lives because <laughs> when it comes to interacting with adults, right? You in in that adult. no no in that sense I've never had a problem I've just I, it's it may just bring your energy bring your confidence bring your politeness ask how they are look them in the eye when you're talking engage just a mature and, lad yeah it's just but it's just like from day like I didn't need to be told like that just that came quite naturally to me but I think that is the biggest thing like when when you go around their house and you literally if you just act all like quiet and just wait to be spoken to and you're just dead vibes. Yeah. Like, that is something you can control. And if you do that, it's going to just leave a bad impression and you're probably going to have a more uncomfortable time. Whereas you, if, if you go in there and do engage, what's the worst they're going to do? Say how they are back, ask how you are, generate a bit of conversation. It can, you know, for me, that's just, it's only going to generate a positive outcome. And that was always the thing. It was always like such a, a peak thing, having like being friends with someone, but then knowing they weren't necessarily very good with parents like and inviting them around. I always found it like well <sighs> awkward. Having like someone come round that you knew wouldn't like talk yeah, to your yeah, parents because it or... can come off rude. Yeah, it just comes yeah, yeah. off, and you don't want like knowing that you're going to bring them round, but their opinion is like, well, they're just a bit rude. They don't say yeah. anything. Yeah, like because I think in some people's heads, it's like, oh, the concept of trying to make conversation is actually really like annoying and horrible, and it's like they don't know what to do. But if you just think, right, I'm going to start every every conversation. If I don't know what to say. By just asking how they are, what have you been up to? Into many things. Simple things that can then spring conversation, and then through doing that, having some success with it, that will build your confidence over and over and over. Next thing you know, you're freaking great. Have you met her parents? Yeah, it's quality. Really? Yeah, just like boom. How are you? Ba ba ba. Tried. Well, stole a bit of the mum's cake. Classic. Quality. But you flirted with her. You, you should. Uh, you should enter competitions with this. It's really good. So what you said. Oh, mate, it was quality. It's fucking lemon juice you, cake. You, oh, you flirted with her. I know. No, no, no. It's the best flirt. way. No, I didn't flirt. No? No, why would The you flirt? best way. Fucking hell, mate. What? Do you flirt with whatever well, it is? I just is. think if you like get to know the mum in like a fun way. In, you're, in a sexual way. Is that what you're saying, well, buddy? Not, flirting's not always sexual. It's right, just flanter. 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 Oh, flirty flirty banter. Banter. Well, how, how did it go when you met your girlfriends? Yeah, but remember, I was friends with Ruth before, so I knew her parents. And it's it is so Wait, much what? easier meeting like your, your like <laughs> friends parents than Best it is uh, like a girl that you're pursuing her parents because you always there's a weight of expectation when you meet a girl's parents because you're like really hope they like me like I don't want to come across the dick when you meet like your parents yeah. uh, your friend's parents you're a bit like well like you, there's no expectation there but you naturally be, be nice and polite as you always would but you don't have that extra thing that you sort of need to go for Janine's mum walked in on us what was shagging what, the first fuck? time you met her yeah the f- <laughs> fuck off yeah what you were at we just finished and we're laying in bed naked. What, was spunk all over your own face? No, only you do that. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh. What did she say? What did you say? She just said, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Theo. <laughs> I know, I said, <laughs> Theo. I said, I said, Theo. <laughs> <laughs> From Snapchat. From Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> From customer service. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Uh, yeah, and then we just went downstairs and had a curry. A curry? Really? Yeah, it's really nice, but it was really... Was it really obvious that you had just oh, rattled her? Yes! Okay. 
It's just so oh, not not the idea. And what about when? Movie. Because Janine is actually quite a quiet person. Yeah. So when she met your parents, how was that? Absolutely fine. My mum and dad just they can talk forever. Oh. Yeah, they can. They really, they one's a teacher. Cat. One's just a bit of a no. No, I'm joking. They're all lovely. <laughs> no, I love them. <laughs> No, I was about to crack some banter, but I don't know if it would come through as banter oh, if they watched it. All my friends get on with my parents. Oh, yeah. mate, especially Stannard and your mum. A bit too yeah. Oh, shit, didn't mean that. I was joking, I was joking, I was joking. But, um, wait, boys, do you remember the other week I did that uh, whoopty sample? That whoopty. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, some people have actually remixed it. And like made it into a beat. Has yeah, someone auto tuned it yet, though? Uh, I don't know. Should we quickly not listen? Wait, should mate. we quickly listen, guys? Ready? Three, two, one. And <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not auto tuned. <laughs> Is that you? Okay. You don't think that's quite old? <laughs> is that going to get us demonetized? Wait, no, I'm sure. Thought... Wait, there's actually another one. Wait, there's another one. What does this one sound like? Whoopsie. Hey, it's hard. You're telling me that does not Whoopsie. go off? I Which I'm saying is a movie. Oh, shut up, <laughs> mate! I think cool it. I thought the first thing you played was like the auto-tuned version. No, like, you are so out of tune. Uh, <laughs> it, was, it was really bad. Like, yeah, well, like, uh, I respect hearing beat, it though. again. You, you didn't smash it. Yeah, I respect the beat. Well, um, wait, mate. We've actually had a f another. You know what? The first one we did about like the guy that's got a girlfriend but secretly fancies you. There's another one fancying me again. No, mate. There's another one. Hello, boys. I've got some concerns regarding my boyfriend. A few weeks ago, he was at my house for a couple of days. I noticed he was acting. girlfriend. I noticed he was acting strange and would not want to have sex with me. Yet he would go to the bathroom and stay there for a while after. <laughs> a day doing? later, I was in the shower and came out without him knowing and walked into the bedroom and he was wanking to Joe's Instagram. No, no, you're lying. Ooh, maybe you're this is the reason lying. he didn't want to have sex. What do I do? You're li he's li she's li it's lies. Really? It has to be. You want it to be true. <laughs> yeah, I really want it to what? be true. <laughs> no, but I'm just like concerned that there's another one on that sort of thing. He's been in the shower wanking to you and then decided to go for a risky one when she's in the shower and she's gone, fuck that, I'm coming out and having a look and there he is. I would always find that weird as well. Like, why would you pick a wank over like sleeping with your girlfriend? Yeah, isn't it? And over Joe. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, obviously, Sorry. obviously, yeah, he obviously is not comfortable with himself, is he? But I wonder how common this is where it's yeah, just I like reckon there it's quite that are just, yeah, a bit Mate, dodgy. you see it all the time with like people coming out of that 40, though. Mate, like, I, like, I remember I watched this show once and it was on like, um, like sex workers and it was like following all these different sex workers and one of them was a geezer and uh, who was like obviously like he was gay, so he would. Uh, sleep with men but he said like the majority of his clientele were married men really yeah so, like, I don't hell. think it's uncommon and actually that reminds me I don't know where this came from but I was speaking to someone or I knew someone <laughs> God, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to think <laughs> fuck it <laughs> We are now, yeah. <laughs> but, Look at him. but they had basically a gay friend, and like, yeah, he would always sleep with like straight men who were even in relationships or married. Fuck you know. Well, it happens a lot in the NFL, apparently, as well. <sighs> Jesus. Well, on the subject of like dodgy porn, you know, look, I've been an advocate for for a while, being like, look, guys, it's not good for you. It's toxic. It's dodgy on the brain. So, hello, lads. Not much of a question, but a story. When I was nine years old, is this fun? I was sitting watching some knob on YouTube, in brackets, Joe Weller, and it was a public interview video where he was saying he was from Pornhub. So I must have been like, hi, I'm reporting from Pornhub. <laughs> Anyways, don't know about that. But So little old me went, on, went uh, exploring on the website, Pornhub, and thought I'd watch something. In the video, I remember uh, some blonde bird came home and started playing with herself. Then someone breaks in the house oh. and then breaks her in. Moral of, moral of the story, 
Joe was the reason, Joe is the reason I wank. Well, well, no. He's the reason he started at nine. Yeah, the re- yeah. You, you are the reason. Well, actually, you are the sort of information where he discovered porn. But isn't that mental where this concept of that when you're... Okay, even in that, even though in that video I wasn't trying to prevent people watching porn, even though my thing is about like stopping people doing it, what do you think if about the idea that me doing those videos trying to be like, don't watch porn, has it's actually encouraged it. people to watch it that wouldn't have otherwise? Well, I guess it's that kind of thing where like any... There is no such thing as bad publicity. Yeah, like You're putting that idea in people's heads. People, like, it, like it's it, like where I'm saying, look, um, guys, don't think about me during sex, and then people that keep thinking cool. like, or, or about my erectile dysfunction problems back Wait. in the past. I'm saying, don't think about that. Don't think about it. And now they're all thinking about it. This is the chimp. The chimp. This is the chimp in your brain telling what? you not to do something. Okay. It is. Can you explain the chimp? What is the chimp, fuck? Malfoy? No, I can't explain it. So there's a theory uh, that called the chimp theory <laughs> where you have a human and a chimp inside your brain and yeah. essentially your chimp is saying don't or trying to make you do like the bad stuff and the human is more the more logical reason right. thinker. Um, and it's uh, they use it a lot in athletes and dieting. But also this is clearly happening to this because if you tell a child don't do something, they're going to do it. And that's because they have more chimp in their brain. Exactly. Their, their human sort of element hasn't developed, yet. hasn't developed yet. Well, that's interesting. It's almost like, so the chimp often, when, when I spoke to Believe in Bruce about this concept, he calls it the Hulk. So yeah. when you see red, when you give into like temptation, when mm. you do like give into instinct and desires, really, that is that chimp, that Hulk taking over you. And the other side is your logical, where you know what's right. You know what you should do and what is the right thing yeah. to do that will actually benefit you. And, um, yeah, that's interesting. I definitely give into that that side, that chimp side, so Especially much. Especially with food as well. Yeah. If you say like, your your chimp just completely overtake over overrides you when it yeah. comes to food, and then if you try and break it, if you say, "I will not eat that burger," your chimp will be like, "You can't tell me what to do. You're eating that fucking burger." Yeah. So it's all about changing habits rather than like impulse decisions. Fuck me. Uh, but you didn't think to you'd learn something on waffling. To be <laughs> What's that, Luke? I know you were talking about like a dodgy sort of porn mm-hmm. topic. Um, we got a question on the waffling Insta, right? Yeah. It's a question. What are your thoughts on bad baby? You know, cash me outside girl? Yeah, what about her? How about it? Making over a million dollars within a day of making an OnlyFans. Do you think it's dodgy that horny guys were so ready to subscribe to it the moment she's of a legal age? So she started her OnlyFans the day she turned 18. Wait, really? Yeah, that's what it was. And then and think, ma- made a million. That means so day. many lads. Was she a- knows the game. Well, that's the thing. Yeah, it's a classic case of the game is the game. And she has just played it through and through there. Massively. Because that's the thing. Like, you, you can't deny that there will be people that would have said... When she was underage, 17, 16, she's fit. Yep. Yeah. Like they just no, like they straight up, yeah. they, she's fit. There's so men out there. Waiting until it's like legal. Yeah, of course, that does not surprise me at all. At all. But, it's um, just like the Bella Fawn. Remember when she started OnlyFans? She was like, yeah, if you sign up, sign up to my OnlyFans, I'll send you like a tip pick. Like pay me $300. And she was the first ever OnlyFans person to make a million dollars in like an hour. Yeah. And then she just. Didn't send Especially, yeah, she never did <laughs> it. Then, she, well, that's she fraud, fucked, mate. That's she f- fucked the whole platform for everyone. Yeah, and you can't go over a certain amount. Well, that's fucking dodgy. Now, something regarding like girls again around actually that friends friend zone thing that we were talking about. Um, we've got this image. Get it up now, Tom. This is Theo posing with a girl <laughs> in a photo. <laughs> now, this is something that we actually do see quite a lot, and it's the, so classic. the hover hand. The hover hand. Where guys don't know, do what, should I put my arm around her where I'm touching her, holding her, or just sort of, uh, and you go I, somewhere in between? I think the photo was taken at like the really the wrong time, because I, I, right. I definitely didn't do oh, that. Oh, no, we were posing for a long yes. time for that. Yes, we I were all I, I, I'm with Janine in the, uh, during the time uh, of this uh, photo. Uh, 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 <laughs> I've got a girlfriend, but like she's just... You know who it is. She's my friend. Like, I don't yeah. know why I've done that. I, I, I wouldn't, ho- like, I would put my hand on the waist. Obviously, the, like, you, you boys have to take photos with random girls from time to time. Oh, mate, the boys and girls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But but obviously, now there is this, like, uh, 
the huge like culture behind you touch uh, me. What well, touching yeah. people? No, no, no. But like, there is such a big thing about consent now and everything. Like, so do you ever? Because I see celebrities that who is it? Keanu Reeves who will like refuse to. He always does the hover hand. He's like the OG hover hand guy. What on purpose in case he gets done? I'm not Didn't sure if that's boxer, the reason. Remember, wait, did you see that boxer or kick fighter did that recently? No. Nah. He like he went to like he thought he won a fight and he was celebrating. And one of the ring girls came in. And he like grabbed her and he thought thought nothing of it. Yeah. And then like the next day, like abuse, abuse. Like he got ridiculed. Like how dare you do this? So the next but time, it, was he, it in a dodgy way though? It, no, it wasn't that dodgy at all. Really? Is there a photo or something that we I can get? I think so. Yeah. Tom, are you able to get it up I'm, now? If so, yeah. if so, if so, get the it up now. The next fight he did, he just he won his fight and just stood there in the middle of the yeah. ring like that. Well, I suppose if you've hit, been hit with something like that, I mean, look, whether gender aside, I'll always put my round my ha- arm around someone like they do with me if I'm doing a fight. Like, where are you, mates? Yeah. Like, just normal. Yeah. But I've never thought of it like that, and especially, well, taking it back to almost this this. Time. What was going through your head Mate, to I, do the the hover hand? I don't. I I honestly don't know because my wrist is touching, so it's just like. <laughs> but were you like, do I do it? Is she? Oh, I, I don't know. know. I definitely wasn't over because there's definitely. She's my friend. Then why would I be doing? <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah, it's because there's definitely like geezers out there that do that because they like. No, I don't. And I think do look, that. just I don't do that. But then just do it. Or oh, but what if she doesn't want you to grab her waist? <laughs> I don't know, it's a weird and that, one, and isn't it? That is where the sort of, you hit the crossroads and you're like, well, like, it means they, they, we have it, our arms around each other, like, why, that's, it's not weird, but then you start to think, oh, but what if she finds it weird? Where and that's why, ha- where is my hand placed? Is it too low? Is it too high? Yeah. Oh, mate, it's actually a mental Realistically, game. Realistically, like, it doesn't mean anything. Well, it's, what, so we don't know, we, we don't, don't know. know. Yeah. Um, now, something else we've actually been sent in in abundance this week oh, is more lookalikes. Sake, okay, yeah. so yeah, let's have a look at some of these. Time to bully us again. Oh, I got, no, I got mate, they're mostly all. about Luke. Class. First one about Luke is Arsenal's <laughs> target. Do you see this at all as being is Luke? Julian Brandt? Uh, it's uh, Julian Brandt, yes. <laughs> does, that look, does that look like Luke? Surely not. No? Do you not see it? I mean, a little tiny bit, Wait, not really. Not all, just blonde yeah, guy. all I get is blonde people who said I'm to me. Okay, okay, okay. Another one then we've got is a goalkeeper, boom, of Luke. Nothing like him. Really? Just a blonde Slight, guy. No, no, yeah, no, slightly. The quiff. No? The quiff. Okay, okay. <laughs> and then this next one, I can't believe this. Beepity, beepity, beep, beep, Charlie Morley. Wait, like, no, I've, <laughs> seen, I've Wait, seen that one. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I opened up Instagram the other day and I thought one of you boys, it was yesterday, wasn't it? I thought someone had put a picture of me on the waffling Instagram and I, I had to double check. I thought that was me. You thought this photo was you? Oh, I it's thought the it face, was me. It's the face, it's oh the face, it's the face. Oh my God. But actually, I've seen that one before. talking of lookalikes, because I, I was going through the DMs this morning and I got one saying that she said, I saw this and thought it was Luke. Go on. Mate, that just is a bit like your oh, face. On, bro, no, that is not. That is, brother. brother. That looks nothing like No, it, it is. Is that Max Brannan? I messaged her saying, honestly, do you hate me? <laughs> mate, that's how Russell, do you hate you reply? I was fuming. Oh, well, this one, this <laughs> one's Best actually mate, fucking mate. accurate. So, so there's this guy on TikTok. <laughs> that apparently it's looks rude. like... It's just rude. Looks <laughs> like fear. It's just rude. Are you ready, everyone? <laughs> <laughs> Does that way go on, Theo? Do that face to the camera. Do, do that face to the camera. You're gonna do it, do it, do it. Does it look like him, everyone? He's dressed like a twat. That's how you that's dress. How, whenever you go oh, to like, yeah. events with, with Janine, that's yeah, when you I'm look like. I wear a blazer, do I? You yeah. have worn a blazer. You have. I bet I can find a picture of you wearing a blazer. <laughs> On a night out of Brighton. <laughs> okay. You're fucking hard as nails. Boy. That's how you and Stannard oh, used to dress on, and Harry Brown on a night out. You'd all wear like a little blazer. Yeah, like looking suave. <laughs> and then we, we, we've also got me with a beard again. Fuck's sake. <laughs> mate, you wait, look they, like. Um, surely, wait, they fuck. made you fat in that. Yes. No, no, you look like. <laughs> wait, oh, is that not obvious? Wait, who's that? Like, <laughs> you're a wanker, mate. No, you look like the guy that presents Man United TV with like Rio Ferdinand. Oh, fuck. That, that big show. <laughs> Fuck me! What? Wait, so 
mean? That's not good, is that it? That isn't good at all, buddy pal, mate. No. I mean, it's not fair that they've made you fat. Nah, look, jealousy is a horrible thing. Well, what do you think about this, right? I um, Today, obviously, I was round, round my nan's, and she asked me t- to take a photo that would be used at a funeral. I'd do a little photo shoot, and I, and I did it with her. Like, as in, I, I, I took different photos, like portraits. But she's not, she's not like, terminally ill. No, 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 but she's just, like, basically, she's, like, my best mate uh, at her funeral had, like, this photo of her, and, it like, they put it in, like, at the front of the church, and she was, like, look, quality. She's, like, I want one. (laughs) So so she was, like, could you do some photos? So rather than having, like, a real-life, like, you know, capture the moment photos, you want, like, a portrait, like, a Well, yeah, she just wanted, yeah, she she, she basically said she's never had, like, an actual, like, portrait photo of her that she's, like... Yeah, but it was in metal. So I'm standing there going, I'm actually taking the photo that's going to be used when you die. That's mental. And, and I was like, I was, see it, it was a bit like a bit emotional, but it was a bit like, wow. Yeah. yeah but it's, but it's so it's, casual. Like me and Mana are always so casual I about like, everything. When you, when you get to that age as well, like when you haven't got like a terminal disease or whatever, and you've accepted that you will probably die eventually. Well, everyone has <laughs> to do that, mate. <laughs> 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 I've not accepted that yet. No, uh, yeah. Logan dying. Paul thinks he's going to live forever, doesn't he? There you no? go, see? Well, well, because I guess by the time we get to well, exactly, 70, 80, like, who knows what technology is going to be around. When you're like 80s, 90s now, you're like, death is uh, it's approaching you pretty pretty rapidly. Like, Do you think... how are fucked up. Like, how could you wrap your head around that? How old you do you want to live till? Yeah, we're all going to die. You're going gonna to actually be dead and just like, not exist anymore. Then where do we go? Just Cut. get reborn. We've come back on this realm if you haven't learned your lessons or you go on to the next one. I used to think you'd come back as your favourite animal. Favorite, yeah, but that's quite a nice thought, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you gotta you gotta confide, confide in something, but I think imagine if it is just like you're done. I mean, it's just nothing. This is I think this is just why a lot sleep. of people are religious, aren't they? Well, yeah, it's something to to this, grasp onto. Yeah, I had this discussion on a night out, like a classic drunk discussion about religion, or like, cokey ab- chat. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> we were, we were discussing this on a very sober night out, and we were like, <laughs> religion was it's quite an interesting thought because. You may not, I don't necessarily believe there's like a God and whatnot, because there are so many different religions that believe in so many different gods, it can't all exist, or maybe it can. But we felt that religion actually stemmed from just like, (laughs) people just find comfort in believing in something rather than having to actually physically prove that it's there. Like, well, you know, your ghosts aren't proven that they're there, but maybe you find comfort in believing in something. I don't find comfort, I'm terrified of it. Well, well, yeah, you can either be terrified or you find comfort, it's different Different version of the scales. I don't know. It sounds. It was way more interesting on the night out. No, I feel you. I but feel like, you. But, but this is this is the the other side of it, which obviously it's not intended to be disrespectful, but it's often people of from more unfortunate backgrounds, poverty, etc., that tend to be more religious because when you've got like I guess nothing, nothing. having something that get, keeps you going that you can believe in, you can hold on to is you need that. Whereas someone like, you know, rich, wealthy, well-off people, it's like, well, we have everything. everything. Yeah. You don't need to pray for anything or to, to be, you know, to be, to survive, to look after, to, you know, Th- whatever. That's why you see so many people that are stuck in prison or if you've had like an accident and you're lucky to be alive, you think, why am I alive? You turn to these other forms of yeah, it's like, oh, It must be because... Another reason. And you, oh, it's because of that that I had success. Yeah. Well, why did this person that isn't really just have success? I don't know. Yeah, and it's... So no, the, no. the basis of most religions anyway is just being a nice person. Yeah, that's which is essentially good. it. It's just be a nice person. There, and there is so many reasons to that people are religious. Yeah, and yeah, I think you know, so long as you're all peaceful and whatever. I don't think like there, there's much to say against religion. Like people like really strongly disagree with it, and I think it's just as annoying to push your disagreements of religion onto someone as it is being very religious and pushing that onto just someone. It's the same with like veganism, like nothing wrong with being vegan. It's just when some people are out there just like vegan this, vegan that. It's all comes down you? to communication really. It's like your yeah. communication skills. Some people are good yeah. at it, some people aren't. It's like walk down Oxford yeah. Street and they're just people shouting out. Yeah, it's like no no matter hell. what they're saying, even when they're doing things for the environment, the yeah. message is there. But if you're communicating that message wrong in an annoying way, exactly. you're never gonna get it through. It's like and that is what People need to really like focus on more than anything about when trying to get something across. However, on the lines of communicating a message across, go on. Obviously, on the old Parallel Nine DJ Instagram, we did a competition, right, yeah. where we were giving away four tickets, 
Okay. A very won, mate. fair competition. No, see, oh. look, now this is what is fucked, right? So our tour manager picked the winner, right? At random. Yeah, but I think, <laughs> blatantly, he's probably gone, oh, yeah, this person's a bit fit. I don't know, but basically he picked a girl and all the comments were like, oh, we see what you're trying to do here, boys, thinking that obviously me and Elliot have picked the winner, just picking a bunch of girls to tr- like basically prey on. And it, I actually was like, mate, this is fucked. Like, why are people just assuming that? Like... But you boys thought it as well. Yeah, yeah, we messaged you. Yeah. Like I said, oh, yeah, well, pick her at random, did you, mate? Yeah, it's fucked. So throw your tour manager under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just saying as it is, you can wear it on his chest. Um, Man, also, he may wait, have how many picked her at random. We don't, we don't well, know yeah, that. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. He picked her yeah, at yeah, random. Yeah, because look, Tom is not a dodgy... <laughs> <laughs> you can even finish he's not, he's not a dodgy bastard. He's not his quality. He's yeah. fucking, you know, I wouldn't be working with him otherwise. But um, end of the day, it may have gone... It may, he may have been influenced by, <laughs> oh, do I pick someone fit or not? All I know is that, yeah, the next, next time we're going to put... If we do a competition, we just, we're just going to put it in a random yes. generator. Yeah. And I think that's the way to do it because that, that backfired on us and made us look a bit dodgy. Do you know like, what as well, mate? I've done some of these in the past and the best feeling in the world is doing like a random generator and it just picks someone that re- looks like they really deserve it and yeah. actually want it. Oh, oh, that's the best. I actually love it. Like, fuck yes, I got it right. I yeah. mean, we, we, I, I did message you saying the like it's a, it is a poor reflection on you, yeah. isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Even, but then it is harsh because... You should have literally, yeah, just filmed yourself doing a random generator because then if that name come up came up, you couldn't be like, no one could be like, oh yeah, I wonder how she <laughs> came up. It's like maybe we did a fucking random generator. Mm. So yeah. I think well, that's moving forward. That's a, the safest yeah. bet, isn't it? But still, like, look, we've we. Oh, I bet you, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was with Tom Zanetti yesterday regarding the whole DJ stuff. Firstly, it looks like we might be doing a track. Go on. That'd be quality. I'm going to the studio with him Would hopefully be. this week. Secondly, he's invited us to perform at all his like festivals, shows over it's summer. Like a, I just basically need to send a video of me like DJing so he's you know can see that we're not shit. What if, like what a, if he like replies a, like a No, but we're not shit. I know like we're a warm-up thing. No, 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 like fucking main event. <laughs> mate, Boundary Brighton, Boundary Festivals, those of you. What you doing Boundary? Brighton, mate, we're fucking on the Saturday at like seven PM or like nine PM sunset set. Wait, we're, on the main at, stage? we're on before like Hannah wants. On the main stage? Wait, hang on, hang on. Mate, how the fuck wait, is that? Wait, wait, with, with Tom Zanetti or just... No, no, that's it? not with Tom Zanetti. Wait, that's you and Elliot... Oh, mate, our tour manager runs Boundary Festival. <laughs> so he's literally going, boy, you're having like the main So slot. let me get this straight. Boundary, 7pm. It's going to be fucking well up. Are you actually... Wait. I've been to Boundary once. Fucking hell. Mate, it's going to be fucking me. Everyone's just like, don't fuck it, mate. No, no, you <laughs> impossible to fuck it. Oh, so you can fucking play like Humpty Dumpty and everyone's going to be like, Humpty Oh, Dumpty. yeah, yeah, because everyone's fucking off their nut. Yeah. I don't want to plant this seed in your head, but, no, but what if you do fuck it? No, 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 not, not even. Not even. It, <laughs> no, what, not what, even. If, what if the crowd are relentless? Because they're like, all... Boo, yeah, girl, but, because why don't <laughs> come in? Yes, exactly. <laughs> well, that'd be fucking horrible. Funny though, feel it. Talk about it on Waffling. It'd be so funny. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be horrible, but still like, Something to talk about on waffling, no? Yeah, yeah, but I'd be no, like, rather than not, they won't do that. Look, like, what do you think? There's a chance that people will do that. No, no but I'm saying like, didn't KSI nah. get booed at Reading, or, or am I making that up completely? No, he's not performed at Reading yet. I oh, saw he did a, a, a festival. What got yeah. booed? Well, he wouldn't get booed now because he goes to number one every time. He, but there are oh, you, you know, like sometimes where, but because people, for one reason or another, may not think like you've actually like got the credentials to be up yeah. there. And some Respect people take it. that really yeah, personally yeah, yeah. and they it's like, res- yeah. They, yeah. they boo people it's, on stage. It's a respect thing. They don't respect you as a DJ. Oh yeah, well we Not haven't, well, yeah, yeah. That's uh, what at I'm this saying. point, yeah, I wouldn't expect us to have yeah, much that's respect. Why. Yeah, that's yeah, why. yeah, yeah. But, but I do think- You've got to earn their respect. Yeah. And when you earn their respect- well, We're going to be doing shows over summer, but still there will, yeah, there will no doubt come boundary. Wait. If it is all confirmed, we will. Oh, yeah, you can come. Can we go backstage? Well, yeah, of course. But really? like, there will be no doubt people that are like, mate, boo, get, oh, I don't want this guy on there. But like, still. Mate. Oh, it's going to be impossible, isn't it? I was going to say this could genuinely be my angels moment. No, we're not going to get you on stage <laughs> mate, to sing surely Robbie Williams. Let's mate, sing angels. I would run we're the crowd. We're trying to not get booed off. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> That's when, when you're getting booed. Bring out <laughs> to really rub it in. Oh, <laughs> Fuck you, cunts. Can you imagine? I get everyone to like. Oh, At the end of the day, look, look, look. okay, yeah, they may be like, yeah, oh, boo, 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 mate. When we start flipping bangers and dropping shit, that's like fucking hell. This is sick. Yeah, they'll like, well, then say the set will talk. For yeah, itself, do you know what I mean? Yeah, it? the music will do the talking. Will it start? Will it be like will seven pm at that time be sunset? 
because you know that vibe between day and yeah, night. Yeah, quite yeah, like yeah, a, yeah, yeah. Well, not it was more like nine at some. Well, I don't know, I don't know. We'll yeah. see. But yeah, it's a cool. Be, it's a cool thing. Regardless, like we've got the boat party. We're doing a boat party along yeah. the Thames in August. We've got like a whole bunch of things coming. So yeah. if I don't get St Angels at one of these things, I'll be fuming. Oh yeah, I'm with Phil. No, you've got to let him do that. Okay, you can join. You've in. got the platform. What now. do you think about Nico or Milana's NDL manifesto trying to become London mayor? <laughs> Right. Sell our ranges. I think it's hilarious. Wait, do you reckon he could actually do it? I mean, he got 5% of the poll votes. We live in this world where we think YouTube and like online and Twitter is like the whole world. It's a tiny bit. It's, it's tiny, literally tiny. the smallest fraction yeah. of the world. Yeah. Not got a chance. No. There but is, to get 5% is pretty fucking sick. It's it is also that's yeah. sick. This sort of dangerous element to it of... Uh, like making politics a game. And, and uh, like I had... Games game. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could say like, I think it's hilarious, and I think like obviously we know Nico, and I think yeah. he's like a really nice guy. There, but there is that when you know when <laughs> Trump when Trump went for president, everyone was like, "Well, he's making a mockery of Mate, politics." Even when he won, everyone was like, "Nah, he won't win." Yeah, like, everyone was like, "Nah, he won't win." I won't. Yeah. I won't vote, but he so won't is win. there that same sort of? Are we making a game of politics? You which does see, affect people's lives. But you can yeah, see but it from the other side. That, yeah, but those politicians play games with our lives. Who are we to say? That a free person can't run for office. No, no, that's not what. Like, no, that's exactly what you're his saying. His main that is thing of exactly make not what Boris I'm Johnson shush. Wait, I like, yeah, that's, 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 that's all I mean. <laughs> Anyone can run I actually, for it. I think Boris is a top geezer. I think well, he's quite funny. Mate, he's a comedian. After being prime minister, he should become like a comedian. He, I reckon he's top bants on a night out. Oh, mate, hilarious. Smashes <laughs> it all. But we're not. Like, mate, during COVID, he just kept the one bar in the entire UK open that was underneath Parliament. Yeah, it was Parliament Isn't it funny as well? Do you remember um, Nico actually told us yeah. about that he was going to run for Prime Minister? No, it was it was always May. Really? It was always May. Yeah, oh, he said, fuck. that's my next big thing. I'm going for... When did, wait, when did he tell us that? Because he's doing it now. But that that was when we were in Miami. It was a year ago. Mm. Over a year ago. Mastermind. Yeah, so yeah, it was like a year and a bit ago. So like to think like he, the amount of planning he probably has done from then in the past year, the like, we've work. known... King. Yeah, do you know what I mean? It's King. quality. It's the really work cool. this guy puts into his YouTube videos yeah. is no return, unrivaled. No, no monetary return as well. Surely some way he's... He, can't he has to... Obviously he has on to make paper, he should be losing money with every video. He's in a nice just, place, didn't he? Yeah, but, that, but that's, no, apparently yeah, but that's not, provided yeah, for them by a house, company. Yeah. Is it? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Can we get one? Well, we got one. It's the Wafflin House. The Wafflin House. It's your house. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I've got a funny one here. Okay, go on then. What's the, like, the most classless thing that you've done with a girl? The funny one? Well, well, we spoke about degrading stuff. No, with... no, no, because you basically said that you fingered someone behind the bins before we oh. went on, so I, I added it to the notes. Did you? Oh, we can't say that. Well, no, no, but absolutely do not say who <laughs> or anything. I mean, I've got one, but I don't really want to say it because it is pretty... Why? Is it, yeah, but we... See, we what's... <laughs> Like, I think we've all done stuff when we were younger. That is there not like a classless, classless thing? I ate... F oh, God! You ate what? We all know what he ate. <laughs> lad, lad. I am... <laughs> nah. I don't know if I ate fish, and I had it still on my hands, and then I also... <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> no, 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 no. Go on, what's yours? I, I, don't, I don't really don't want to say it. Okay, what was yours? I'll tell you afterwards. Behind the back of KFC or something. No, I mean, doing something behind the, the bins is pretty <laughs> gross, isn't it? I mean, it doesn't get much worse than that. It was in bright and horrible. It's, it's, always, it's like, always in Brighton. So in, Why in, is it always in Brighton? Well, in Seaford, you the had streets of Trek Alley. Trek Alley, people used to get sucked off for fun down there. So there's, <laughs> Trek Alley. They so did. There's, a, there's an alley next to the club in Seaford. X Club, RP. Well, yeah, it used to be a club. And yeah, like people would slope off down that alleyway and do bits all the time. Just quite quality. I never did, and I wish I did. <laughs> I that's your did. sort of thing. That's no, I mean, your like, thing mate, now. Vulgar. Sloping off <laughs> somewhere private. Oh, I'm planning all sorts. What? You know. <laughs> it's quality. Planning all nah, sorts. I haven't planned anything. I'm joking. But ended I, on a I horrible note. Well, like who's to say we've ended? No, I will. Football? I've, Joe? Oh, we got football? I got yeah. some. I've oh, got, fuck. Well, no, soon. Wait, we've got wait, football. We wait. To, go You're on, going go on. to be late. No. Got something to give to Luke. Go on, give it to him. Kiss, 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 kiss. Oh, did you kiss. get it for me? He's gonna kiss him. Fuck Luke. off, what is this? Luke. No! Happy birthday, Luke. No, what is that, Firmino? Love from Trent Alexander-Arnold. Oh, yes, what mate. What the fuck? Thanks, Fia. Well, what, what, what do I get? That is sick. Hmm? 
Wait, so you got the his... only embarrassing thing is that it he, says he, Firmino on the back. Well, no, he's <laughs> Firmino's his favourite footballer. I love Bobby Firmino. Trent loves Bobby, but he did. I did tell him it was a fake. Did he notice? He noticed. What do you mean it's a fake? Ah, uh, boy, off DH gate for nine quid. What the the the, the top? Yeah. Yes. I was like, mate, you have you have a bit of money. Oh my god, this, that is this, sick. This came with New Balance tags. I don't want to promote counterfeit goods, and this is real. But if I were to buy a fake one off the age gate, it would cost me nine quid. And it why, don't you like <laughs> why don't you like support, you name on the you support the club that you grew up with? Wait, you just tried to fleece me by joining some European super that league. That is very true. That is so sick, though. Yeah. I really wish that it was Trent. my birthday. <laughs> that is sick, though. We've well, got to wait next year for your birthday. Did you not get a video from him saying, oh, shout out the Waffling Boys? I actually didn't film with him. Oh, no, yeah. my buddy got that sound. Yeah, you right? never met him, did you? I actually never met him, no. Oh, is that how it has to be? Yeah. All right, fair enough. One of them ones. <laughs> right, is there anything left in my notes? One second, boys. You know how the game is. I have to quickly look. So one second, three, two, one. That is actually it for this episode. <laughs> no, it's not. There's one more lookalike. Have a look at this one. That looks like Luke. Yeah, Portsmouth, it's the ginger beard. Portsmouth the player, ginger, doesn't the ginger that? Beard. And, ginger the red, beard, blonde and hair. the eyes, nose, and hair. That could have any face and it would look like me. No, I think that looks yeah, a bit a like Luke. You have a generic, boring face, don't you? What? <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> right then. Well, uh, oh yeah, there's actually one last one. So this, <laughs> this guy said that apparently he works at a school and loads of kids were like, you look like Luke from Waffling. Luke's Why actually. Why are kids at can school I just, watching can this? Can we actually just quickly talk about how Luke is now just like really fa- annoying? He is stuff. famous. Especially on Instagram and. Why do you guys think Luke's so famous? Is it because he's got such lovely... Is he good looking? Is he good looking? Is he warm and kind and everything his like that? His engagement rate, because obviously all his fans... Engagement are, ring? Yeah, engagement rate. Oh, rate. Right. He's got like new fans, so he gets more likes than yeah. he, like, he should do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> can you get me to 50k? Can, oh, yeah, you can, like, can you like like all my Instagram photos? Because oh, no, Luke's still getting a bit close like. to me. Like, I really, I'm finding it uncomfortable how close or how many likes Luke gets. I think, look, we as a collective on the Waffling Podcast Instagram are on 95,000. Yes. We really want to get to 100,000. Mm. If you could all like follow that just so we can hit a big milestone and then who knows, we might do a competition. Best way to promote it. it, end of the podcast. There you go. So um, <laughs> fucking right at the end. No one's, no one's listening. listening. <laughs> but if you are listening, please comment down below saying, you know what? Tango Ice Blast needs to sell hashtag. Waffling's hashtag the fruity don there is. flavor there it is. now yeah, there it is. we want it so yeah do it because it'll be so good if we can see that in cinemas and everywhere that sells tango ice blast but anyways that's that for this episode hope you've enjoyed it what are you trying to say something oh i was Forget waiting that. to time it so i could do peace when you were like oh fuck me so you long oh. you about facebook right anyways <laughs> fuck off. No, <laughs> anyways, <laughs> right guys we'll see you next time leave a like rate it and peace peace Woo! <laughs> <laughs>